and welcome to episode number 710 of Hard Factor. I'm Will. We got Mark, Pat, and Wes, a full house for Monday, June 14th, 2021. And I got a quick follow-up before we get going, fellas. We made it to 45,000 on Instagram. 45,000 oh, yeah. followers. Way to go, Hard Ohio. Fantastic work out there on the Instagram streets. Fantastic work. Uh, we have to talk about what we're going to do for 50K because that's a big milestone. So we need well, a, we need a good video. Let's try to have a really good show because this seven ten is the um it's the hardest uh configuration in bowling. It's in bowling, damn near yeah. damn near impossible when you see a seven ten. Are you putting right that evil here. on us? Are you doing like a thirteenth floor? Right. No, we're, gonna have have a a hotel. Split. we're gonna have a split yeah. of a show. We're gonna pick up the split. I okay, also think Pat. I also Pat. I agree. I think we're gonna pick up the spare. I also think that seven eleven for this particular set of hosts may be more <laughs> profound. <laughs> Exactly. The taquitos episode. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, I got fooled by a Seven Eleven sign uh, the other day. It was it's a brand new Seven Eleven. They're selling gas, and I drove by it, and the and the gas price said Seven Eleven, and I said Jesus Christ, and then I realized they hadn't opened yet. <laughs> um, so they were being, out of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my god, Biden. Uh, they just they just put Seven Eleven on the gas price because they hadn't opened yet. It's very That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, nice. Thank whoa. God. <laughs> Thank God. <I> was, whoa. <laughs> Thank God. It's episode Idiot. 710, <laughs> and we made it. 45K Instagram. We're still gunning for 10K on TikTok, 25K on Twitter, 500 Patreons. Let's keep pushing. Um, what a treat it is hitting these milestones for the show. It, it feels is. good. Quite a treat. Giving what ourselves a treat. A tr You're giving us a treat. What a treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all getting treated. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, Wes, do you have a what a treat shirt up? In it's the coming. Area? It's okay. coming. I've been thinking about it. It's, it'll be out this week. I was treat, thinking about that what treat a treat yourself. shirt. Funny, yeah, you can do both. What what a treat and treat yourself. It's funny because everyone that buys it and wears it will be walking around with it being like, This is about me me like orgasming. That's the joke, but no one else right will know unless they're followers of the show. They'll just think that the person's like very positive. Right. I'm thinking about making like a it's make it like a fake bakery called what yeah. a treat and then like make it what a bakery a shirt but you yeah. should have like this the icing the squeezing <laughs> yes. of the icing because like yes. the semen it's like a two a tube of icing would be yeah mm -hmm. make yeah. sure it's an absorbent yeah. material mm -hmm. you make yeah. the shirt out of <laughs> yeah think people are just gonna be treating themselves on Maybe the shirt teflon. yeah dry, dry fit make it out of teflon yeah yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get one out there kevlar fibers okay um today's observances it's june 14th uh, that means it's Family History Day, also Flag Day, which I'm not sure why that wasn't first on there. But um, yeah, it's not a holiday. Yeah, it is. Well, like an unofficial one. No you one really don't know why that wasn't first on there. Well, Fam over Family History Day. You're over looking at the observances. You have no idea why Family <laughs> History Day was. Before oh, this flag. is this is alphabetical, is it not? Mm. Yes. There you yes. Go. Also, International Bath Day, Magic Circles Day, National Bourbon Day. That's a big one. National Strawberry Shortcake Day. Also mm. great. Um, own Your Share of America Day, which I don't know what that means. Pause for the Pledge Day, which, you know, I guess you got to respect the pledge. Pop Goes the Weasel Day, U.S. Army Birthday and uh, World Blood Donor Day. OK, mm. pretty good. Also Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. June 14th is a big day. Also, on this day in history, in, in 1777, is when the USA first uh, Congressional Congress did the flag, Stars and Stripes, first adopted oh. on this day. That's why it's Flag Day. There in both go. 1800 and 1807, Napoleon won giant battles on June 14th. Che Guevara was born in uh, 1928 on June 14th. The saddest and most notable June 14th was in 1940 when Auschwitz received its first Jewish prisoners from Poland. Um, June 14th rebounded in 1963, though, when Russian cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova uh, became the first woman to go to space. And in 2009, Phil Jackson became the coach with the most NBA titles at 10 on June 14th. Wow, what a historic day. The yeah, mm. only way to go is up after that Auschwitz one for the next one. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. probably going to be one of the lowest we will ever do. It went um, down. Yeah. No, the next one was like a good one. No, it was like a woman in space. First woman in space. Yeah, that was following <laughs> June 14th for like six years went down. Well, I understand, but I'm saying like the big update. It right, took 23 kind of, years yeah. for them yeah. to get it right um, yeah. on June 14th. But, Bill yeah. Jackson really trumps Auschwitz. <laughs> Ten, his tenth? Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Not according to the Encyclopedia Britannica on this day in history. Yeah, um, yeah. they were. They said oh, big day, number one. It's like time. You know, it's like the cover of Time. 
Mm-hmm. Not yeah, the say, happiest one, but right. the most notable. I, I would say that's the most notable as well. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. 100%. Most notable. Phil's big, though. Yeah, it's big. It is huge. Yeah. Master of the triangle <laughs> offense. <laughs> Married um, into the West family, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got anything else before we hop in? Yeah, man. No. I went to the de-escalation training in Portland yes! over the oh, weekend. Yes. Oh, is it, are we not doing a story on it? You just let's let's break it down right now, Pat, please. Well, I mean, I I don't want to say that I went. I want to say that Stab Nelson. Stab went. Nelson. Yeah. So was. so we got a text. It, it was is this pu- open to the public? It yeah. was it was open to the public. Um, mm. yes. I signed us up. Okay. But you, then, anyone can sign you up. How many anyone people can sign up? How many, so you went to On the first, camera? the first ever Portland paid for by Portland protesters de- de- de-escalation training for protesters. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, and I went in as an escalator who was curious about what might happen because I want to escalate. That's what I want to do. Well, that's what Stab Nelson Stab, wants. To Stab do. is an escalator. Stab escalates, bro. <laughs> Stab brings his dog to uh to the rallies that's how stab protects himself and others from mm. from things getting too out of hand mm. but i asked a lot of questions like you know i understand this is about not burning stuff down but sometimes you just want to go out there and burn stuff down what uh, they say uh well uh, man there was i i honestly just had to take the training seriously because immediately when i said that some guy some old uh some old early like peacekeeper civil rights guy was like hey stab I've burned a lot of things down, buddy, and uh, I have lots of felonies uh, from the civil rights movement. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at, at which point I was like, I got to respect this man. He said stab yeah. straight immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he yeah. was on stab side. He was like, bro, I, right. love, I love getting out there and burning it down. We just can't do that anymore, stab. Right. Mm. He's just he, he's he was, trying to connect he was, with stab. He was just doing what the entire training was. For. exactly protesters we, across generations we we learned the clara method which i couldn't tell you what it was uh yeah. but we uh we definitely meditated during the two-hour <laughs> session we had well, a that'll help de-escalate yeah. that was yeah. that was the only ridiculous part honestly dude it was fucking ridiculous the meditation was fucking how, ridiculous <laughs> you, <laughs> sent, you sent us some clips of the people like how many uh, outside of that civil rights guy who probably has gotten all this uh stuff out like his 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 aggressive protesting it seems like it didn't look like many people there were like super aggressive people like what the what, we kind of called it right the crowd that's going to go to this thing isn't a bunch of stab nelson's well here's what i learned there were a couple right. stabs in the chat uh who popped on the video for a second and then realized yeah, oh man, i can't around. have my face out there yeah so they popped off video so i i got a number of encouraging messages in the chat like yes yeah, stab thanks for saying we're all thinking um, <laughs> but, but ultimately like in the one-on-one you know we went into a breakout group with four people and it's me and a phd and then this woman who's like volunteering her time to like really like get, spread peace it was hard for me to go hard on her yeah, but you I- couldn't troll somebody <laughs> in that scenario yeah. like, right. that's understandable but did you keep flicking your zippo and yeah, like and, like I, so the whole the time brick- I had my Zippo out and I was just flicking it. And then I, I, I had a brick my brick, and I was doing yeah. stretches with the brick. So I was oh, like, yeah. I was low key. Did anyone mention the brick? No one the brick. mentioned the brick. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're, no all, they're, all, they're all numb to bricks. It's just something that's common for them. They see it, yeah. No one mentioned the fact that I was wearing one leather glove. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> but um, Stab I will, <laughs> he's a unique guy. I will say this. So, uh, you know, look, peace is great. Whatever. Um, the, the, the dude popped in the chat who, uh, leads the peacekeeping, um, mission in DC, whatever their chapter is. Mm -hmm. And the dude popped in the chat and, uh, the guy leading the presentation for Portland was like, Oh, and we're just joined by a leader. One of our leaders from the DC chapter, uh, who was actually there during the January 6th, um, attack on the Capitol. And he put this poor guy on the spotlight who clearly like the method didn't work there on January 6th. Yeah. <laughs> right. And they were like, would you tell us what happened? And he was like, ah, oh. and he like told one instance of like, I saw these two people about to fight. This one guy pulled out a long knife, serrated edges, and uh, we stopped it. And uh, one fight. Yeah. But the- <laughs> I came in and I was like, was it a sword? I asked if the weapon was a sword. And then that's when I think the organizer caught on to me and she yeah. DM'd me and she was like, I, um, thanks for your contributions. I don't see you online anywhere. Are you on socials? Oh, yeah. Great, she great. said you stab created stab stuff. 
Yeah, because the well, Stab yeah. Nelson's still. I mean, Stab Nelson's still fighting for the cause. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he's officially. off the grid. You, you have Stab on Twitter now. Man, I just set up the Gmail. I'm not. Okay. I don't know. I'm going. Dude, too Stab deep would it. not go on social media. That that lady. That's knows true. That. Well, she Will had a great game. comeback, which is what did you say, Will? And you gave it to me too late. I said, I said, just don't. You, you would never get like because the cops could find you. Exactly. You, why would you ever? Right. Go oh, on no, 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 no. They, I think you said that I, I got, uh, I was banned from all social. Yeah, you've been kicked off. Platform <laughs> Zuckerberg kicked you off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't get me started on why you can't find me on social media. It was yeah. all well intentioned, all great, uh, except for the the meditation part made no fucking like like you know. What well, we're doing it's here. good to have a breathing technique <laughs> if you're trying to stop somebody from lighting a federal so courthouse. On there's fire. six more of those. Are they going to get different or is it just for like other people to join and do the same bullshit? The stab's going to go. Yeah. To all six of them. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, and I'll figure out. I, I don't I want to respect the privacy of the people on there. So I can't I don't want to release the, the, the stuff. I'll figure we it can out. Blur, we can blur their faces and distort yeah. their voices. Right. Yeah, we I can, think we can use yeah. their full voices and just don't show their images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My big thing is okay with that. Today, if you better believe I have my Google alert set for Stab Nelson because I'm going to be in the news. There's no way that Stab Stab's making the headlines. 100%. Because I, I played it pretty subtle. I trolled very subtly. Um, uh, and Did you yeah. have your eye on like who you thought was a reporter in there? The like, reporter trying to impress didn't have the video on. I was the, the, the goal. <laughs> Don't get arrested, Pat. <laughs> the goal is going to be for you to get a quote out to another publication as Stab Nelson. I bet I will. I yeah. bet Stab is going to be in ink today. All right, come Good. on, everybody, get Stab to trend. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's do the news. The buzz is up first. We're with you, Stab. We just want to burn it down too, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we got to get Stab to trend. But let's talk about the other trending items up top in today's daily buzz. Honorable mentions up first on Saturday in Los Angeles. Uh, a happy couple got a skywriting plane to announce their engagement. So congrats to them. But then at the end of the um, engagement announcements announcement, they added a troll to Joe Rogan, uh, just typing in the sky, the Los Angeles sky that he's literally five foot three and it could be seen <laughs> all over the city. So that is impressive. Uh, skywriting. That's it really amazing. is. It really, I feel like it's gotten better somehow. Like this plane's got a good machine. Joe going. Rogan yeah. is literally five foot three. Yeah, so they, this couple just crushed Joe Rogan on the same day that they announced their <laughs> engagement. So, I mean, L.A. can't really like him. He abandoned L.A. But speaking of that, Tim Tim Dillon is already moving back to L.A. from Austin. You see this? He's, yeah. What's going on with that? That's strange shit. I don't know. Good riddance. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'm, yeah. I hope he talks about it nonstop. About yeah, I hope he brings Austin. Joe with him and everyone else and yeah. Elon. Right, go all, everyone, gonna, go, everyone go back. back. It's Elon degrees so. today. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here is what I say. That that would be hilarious if none of them could make it through one fucking summer. Like yeah. uh, Tim Dillon, the fattest one, he already couldn't make it through like the beginning of summer. No. He seems like he's bothered all the time by everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, certainly by Austin, Texas. He's going back to L.A. Also, man swallowed by whale trended on Saturday. And Wes is going to tell us more about that later. Um, and Funny sadly, timing, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, auspicious. Um, also, sadly, one last honorable mention in the trends. There was a shooting in Austin, Texas uh, that trended on Saturday as well. So um, at least one dead and 14 injured from a juvenile shooter is what's being reported as yeah, a matter. great. Yeah, I mean, good. you can't go to Sixth Street because every every other weekend there's a shoot. Nothing of this of this size, but every other weekend there's a fucking shooting on Sixth Street. Yeah. Sixth Street yeah, is yeah, kind of kind of a mess. And there's been more shootings amazing. since that mass shooting. Yeah. And it's not like it's not like a hood situation where you're like someone's gonna no, like, no. walk around the wrong no. corner like, and get robbed. No, it's just idiots bring guns to large packed areas and then get in a fight. Too many cheap drinks on the one side of Sixth Street, and then like now, like a lot of those places are shut down because of COVID. It's just gotten worse that part, that area of Sixth Street. The the West Sixth is still pretty good. Remember they East, were doing those East Sixth is just kind of a mess. They were doing Rainy those gang street. initiations for a while where the, the like to get in the gang, you had to go like punch a stranger right in the face down on Sixth Street. Remember on that shit? Pass? Well, the yeah, Sixth or, Street or, underpass or somewhere, is, yeah. is the shadiest part of the city. It's I like great. how they turned it into art. I don't want to get caught really there. Just, it was just an art installation that lights up the underpass. Right. Which is so people are just doing like doing like heroin in the light, in the neon mm -hmm. lights instead yeah, of when, the dark. cooler experience. Honestly. When we first moved here like 12 years ago, around then, like the early first year or so, uh, 
we paid for some shady guy to to give us coke and he just went under the sixth street underpass and we just oh, lost him forever him in there. no yeah. he just stole our money it's the worst yeah. but i used to have, have to walk under it to um walk yeah. my now wife home from the bars that was it was a nightmare every time walking through there is just fucking horrible gives you the creeps <laughs> um all right let's move on to the top four top four in the buzz today number four christopher sign a journalist who did an expose report and later a book on bill and hillary clinton turned up dead in his home of an apparent suicide on Saturday morning um, in Hoover, Alabama. Uh, Sign broke the news that Bill secretly met with then Attorney General Loretta Lynch in 2016 when Hillary was under investigation for her emails. So basically meddled in her campaign, essentially. Uh, sadly, Sign leaves behind a wife and three sons after being found dead in his home. Obviously, lots of people are suspicious about the circumstances of his passing. You know, given all that Epstein stuff last year, it's not that it's not the Epstein stuff. It's it's the the former um, I think it was the transportation. We need to Google this, but it's it's another person that had very close relationships with the Clintons came up with them from Arkansas, I believe was involved in Whitewater in some way, shape or form. He turned up dead via suicide and he definitely had information mm. about some some Whitewater stuff. This is in the 90s. It seems didn't, like a lot of people with they information. They didn't find any JPEGs, did they? That yeah. could be anyone's dick. A lot, lot of loose ends getting tied up, uh, us, you know, just uh, so it's mysteriously. Um, yeah, Bill doesn't want to have a body count. Bill doesn't want his emails. I know there were Hillary's emails, but Bill doesn't want any Clinton emails. Dude, what's weirder? Did you see Bill's, got a, Bill's got a book coming out with, I think, James Patterson called, like, uh, about like the president's daughter getting abducted, like a fiction book. Oh wow, yeah. Like, well, wasn't what, he also like the keynote at like that's weird last DNC event? Weird, was. right? It's like yeah, it's, it's always like weird. What, it's like what he wanted. I wish she'd gotten abducted. Right? It's always weird when like <laughs> people you see as like either politicians or yeah, like that's um, weird. News anchors write fiction. Like Bill O'Reilly's got that weird book where he like talks about that pimp getting a blowjob from a fourteen-year-old girl. Yeah, uh, uh, six foot five, uh, <laughs> well well-spoken man has sex with a bunch of hot chicks. Right, right. Book by Bill O'Reilly with the Clinton thing, or like, like Beto with psychedelic warlord. All those right, awesome <laughs> essays he wrote. That's different. <laughs> those were killer too. Yeah. They were zines. Those were killer. Maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. Bill Clinton seems like a dangerous man. Uh, number three. Video games. E3 was this past week, and it's actually still going on as we tape. Uh, so here's some of the video game news that trended. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is being made uh, a video game by Square Enix. It lets you play as Star-Lord, Peter Quill. Um, it's a third-person shooter action game. The trailer looks pretty good. goes on sale October 26th nice. for uh, PC, PlayStation, and, and Xbox. Um, Bethesda hasn't said anything about Elder Scrolls VI, Come uh, on. There was a lot of rumors that Redfall uh, was going to be Elder Scrolls 6. Turns out that's just a futuristic uh, co-op shooter game with vampires being, being made by Bethesda. Not so. nearly as cool. That's not nope. nearly as cool. What no, about they're their, also, what, yeah. their, star, their star one? St uh, yeah, they're also working on a space RPG called Starfield. It's mm -hmm. going to be Microsoft exclusive. That's what it was announced at E3 in 2022. No news on Elder Scrolls 6 yet, though. So sorry to Skyrim fans. Also to PlayStation uh, wow. Bethesda fans. Bethesda. They're going Microsoft. Um, finally, Microsoft is also taking on another big space RPG franchise exclusively. The Outer Worlds by Obsidian. After the smash hit debut for all systems in 2019, looks like The Outer Worlds 2 is going to be exclusively on Microsoft platforms when it does finally come out. So Microsoft making some moves um, on these early E3 announcements. Sounds well, like it. How are you not going to talk about the EA Sports hack, bro? That's the biggest video game news of the, of the weekend by far. It didn't trend as hard as these did. What What is it? Someone broke into, they stole the source code from EA Sports. Hackers did, which is a big, 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 huge deal. Massive deal. Oh, so that would fuck EA, I guess. Oh, yeah, right? they, stole, they stole the source code for all their games. So Sims, FIFA, Battlefield. It's not good for them. It's not good at all. They haven't made a statement, I don't believe. Nintendo so what, what, was back. What can they do? Well, they're trying to suppress it. That's why it's not trying to yeah, back. Try to, yeah, try to get it back and sue people and suppress it. Nintendo's back at E3. They weren't there like the last couple of years because um, they tried to do like their own thing. And uh, Mario Golf comes out next week. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, hmm. I think I got have a discount. There. Who are you guys going to be? Uh, usually Bowser at Mario Golf because I like to drive it far. Mm -hmm. About the range. 
Mm-hmm. Probably DK. Usually DK yeah. first or Wario. One of the two. There you go. Wario is long off the T. So is DK. I'm Yoshi always. Any oh. any Mario it's, game. I mean, Yoshi's is always solid. He's always going to be like yeah. in the top ten. Iron games on point. No matter what. Yeah, yeah true. Putting probably. Also He's also the best good. liked in the in the clubhouse too. Yeah, because he doesn't talk. He just mm-hmm. makes like cool noises. Spits an egg out. He just, yeah, he just does egg tricks where he swallows an egg and spits either coins or fires fireballs That's out. Sick, bro. Quick, yeah, cool party he's trick. A good, he's a good <laughs> friend, and he can ride his back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Yoshi's the man. Um, all right, number two, international politics. I got a double here at number two. In Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu was removed from his 12-year term as president, or sorry, prime minister of Israel over the weekend. The move came after a deal between the new right-wing prime minister, Naftali Bennett and centrist Yair Lapid um, ensured that they would have the votes to remove Netanyahu and, quote unquote, begin a new day for Israel. Uh, the deal includes focusing more on government collaboration between the different parties and enforcing more term limits. So good luck to the new Israeli government with those. Netanyahu, Netanyahu gone after a long, long time. 12 I thought years. he was going to jail, Netanyahu. I think they just voted him out. I didn't see anything about about jail, but I, I, he's always dancing on the line, Pat. He's always he is. Yeah. I remember I didn't read about it, but I remember like in unpredicted there was a line like will Netanyahu face well, charges. Whoever had him being removed from office, they cashed big. Damn. So that happened over the weekend hmm. in Israel. While that was happening in the Middle East, the G7 was meeting in Cornwall, England. For President Joe Biden's first trip out of the United States, G seven, <laughs> you know it. Uh, <laughs> it was relatively uneventful. Uh, Britain is arguing with the EU about Northern Ireland. Biden wants help from the rest of the G seven in dealing with China and you know their um, slave labor and whatnot. They're all hoping inflation doesn't cause a new recession. Just hoping. Also, just hoping people address climate change with new infrastructure bills. Hoping. Um, Same old, same old, literally like nothing new, but the Biden blooper reel uh, was bountiful as his first in his first trip abroad as commander in chief. So got a Mm -hmm. few clips for you guys. First one is uh, he's trying to correct Boris Johnson about announcing uh, the president of South Africa in a meeting, uh, but turns out he just wasn't listening. So um, that's this first clip here. (laughs) Okay. those who have just joined us, bringing some pretty spectacular weather uh, with them, Prime Minister Modi, uh, President Ramaphosa, President Moon, in just a minute. And the President of South Africa. And, 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 and the President uh, of South Africa, as, 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 I, as I said earlier. Oh, you did. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, of course. You didn't mention twice, so yeah. I, I'll go over that again. I'll, I'll, let me tell you, we're, we're, we're delighted. I'll, Friend, I'll, I'll, I'll Wait, so he Boris said <laughs> President of South Africa, and then Biden yes. said, "Yeah, yes. yeah." Yes. So, so, as I already said, yeah. yeah. So Biden cheered himself on for correcting Boris uh, that that he <laughs> mentioned the president of South Africa. <laughs> he made eye contact with the president of South Africa. Was like, "I got you, bud." Yeah. yeah. What's uh, your ter- name again? Turns out uh, Boris had just said his name, and Biden just was like dazed and confused either wasn't listening or doesn't know his name just had no <laughs> idea what was going on and then Absolutely. not to mention the fact that he gave boris johnson a custom-made bicycle from like a philadelphia it's like a, a britain and america commemoration bicycle That's sick and it, it yeah, was a this, sick is this true did it's we verify this? True. oh man. The back check too. and then boris johnson hands him over a, a printed photo of uh frederick, frederick douglas, douglas yeah. one that he knows like like a mural that he knows biden likes but it's like okay a ten dollar gift to a six sixty exactly. five hundred thoughtful okay. gift now, boris johnson got the nicest gift possible from biden yes. and biden got like an afterthought gift. it was a five thousand dollar bike that was like very thoughtful Man. you know what this is boris this johnson is... just was all over he you... he was all over Biden. Yeah, Trust exactly. You, you guys have seen, uh, obviously, like Love Actually. This is like the opposite of that. When Billy Bob was the American president, he was punking Hugh Grant. This is like right. the flip of that. This right is the here. British PM just <laughs> yeah. picking. Yeah, uh, he, he, being he, a jerk, he, being a jerk all over. <laughs> Biden. Welcome to the fucking show. Yeah, what, exactly. uh, Boris Johnson was saying all weekend in Cornwall to Biden. Uh, here's Biden admitting that he only takes planted questions. I'm sorry, I'm going to get in trouble with staff. I don't do this the right way. Jennifer Jacob Bloomberg. So that was at the uh, Cornwall um, uh, press conference portion. He said before he took any questions that if he didn't do it right, 
and call on the reporters that his staff told him to call on that he would get in trouble. So he announced that to the world. He clearly didn't know what the question was ahead of time, though. <laughs> If he doesn't remember the system, there's no way he remembers the question. Well, but they're trying to make him stick to the system. And he's telling the whole world that they're trying to make him stick to the system so that he doesn't embarrass himself, which is cool. That's great. That's fun. Look for America. He, uh, here he is uh, now saying that he can't be judged on just four months of work. When you're having these conversations with European allies who are very concerned about these sanctions, how do you justify that? And what are your plans? 120 today? days. Give me a break. Need time. <laughs> need to slap. That's kind of sick, actually. That was hilarious. <laughs> That's kind of badass. That was hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn so uh, a third of a year, definitely not enough time That's, to get any results at your new job, huh? You're, yeah. Well, you're hard on Biden, Will, so I, I get it. But like th this, that's what I—that's the move I pulled whenever I was a server and I've made a mistake. I said it's you know it's, it's my first day, give me a break, you know, even if it wasn't. Like you could extend that. He can he could extend that trick. Uh, he can say it's oh he's gonna have to keep two hundred and fifty days. Yep, yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to keep extending yeah. it. Here, here he, he is he uh, aimlessly wandering around a patio in Cornwall somewhere. <laughs> How are your meetings going in Cornwall, Mr. President? How are your meetings going here in Cornwall? Very well. Come on. <laughs> oh, there's Jill. There's Jill to the rescue. She's like, you gotta, you gotta get out of there, man. She literally he's, he's grabbed like him a, by the hand. Yeah, he's like a special <laughs> kid on a field trip. <laughs> oh my God. He also mixed up Syria and Libya when asked about <laughs> Russia with his upcoming meeting with Putin on Wednesday. Uh, mm. Some people, though, are most upset about him keeping the aviators on to meet with the queen. And uh, so that was <laughs> well, the, how he wrapped it. Did you guys see the queen trying to cut that cake Looked with a sword? No. Yeah, the the, uh, the cake, there was a cake for one of the luncheons and the, and the queen demanded to cut that cake with a sword with like a fucking like proper saber. What a good move, though. That's cool. If you're a monarch, you, you should be cutting cakes with swords. Yeah, she's also like 95. So like she like a small knife in her little frail hands isn't going to do it. She needs the sword. She needs the weight of the sword. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she does. Got to <laughs> let the sword work on its own. Kind of uh, like Putin Joe needs the aviators because the sun is going to kick yeah. his old ass. Joe needs a yeah. lot of help. Uh, Putin yeah. is up next on his visit list in Geneva later this week on Wednesday. Oh, so. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, if you he, can't best Broas Johnson, you're going to have a problem with going to have your color. hands full with Putin. huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, and then number one in the buzz today is sports. Oh, wait, hold on. Check this out. Wait, you got you got the sword. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, that's awesome. She's just with this. She's like, how old she's, is she? She's like 93. She's just cruising around with a fucking yeah. sword. That's a that's this a so enormous sword. They just gave her a fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has to be an insurance issue. Someone take the sword away from the queen. Is a cake. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. Yeah, we get it. Uh -huh. All right. Number one in the buzz today is sports. Uh, <laughs> shit loads of sports over the weekend. The Euro Championship. A player from uh, Denmark, Christian Eriksen, had to be revived on the field after going into cardiac arrest. On Saturday, the team doctor said he yeah. was "quote unquote" gone before they did the on-field resuscitation. So, dude died on the field, got revived back to life. He's doing okay now. Uh, glad he's okay. So, so he's done with soccer now. I yeah, mean, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, they have to run tests and figure out. I mean, obviously, he was like twenty. He's twenty-nine years old. He he's in good shape. It was the first half of the game, albeit late in the first half, and he would just collapse. Like I think that it's probably an underlying heart issue that he needs to figure yeah, out what's going on. Get figured out. Yeah, he'll be done. Like, you know, I would imagine. Running, I imagine he's done. Yeah, yeah. They have to run miles and miles a game for a job, so that might be hard to do with the heart condition. Yeah. Um, also, uh, not many surprise results in the Euros so far. Belgium, Lukaku for Belgium looked amazing. That is a striker in top form. Uh, Copa America also kicked off over the weekend to see who's the best in South America at Yogo Bonito, the beautiful game. Going to take a wild guess in the dark and say that Brazil or Argentina will probably win that tournament. Um, NBA playoffs, the Suns are beating the shit out of the Nuggets on the court and in the stands. If you haven't seen the Suns in four video, oh you got to watch the Suns in four video. It's oh. incredible. He's uh, holding that guy's head down <laughs> while he's – oh, that was, that was good. This is a Suns fan yeah. just crushing a Denver fan. Who swung first in the, in the stands? Two of um, them swung first. 
Yeah, it's true. The Suns guy just handled his fucking just, business. Yeah. The, ha- the Suns are also handling their business at halftime against the Nuggets in game four, trying to try and be Suns in four. Uh, the Nets are blowing it against the Bucs uh, with injuries. The series is now tied two to two. The Sixers and the Jazz are up two to one each, but the Hawks and Clippers aren't at yeah, aren't out yet. So that Suns future bet mark looks amazing because they're like 25 to strongest. one. Yeah, yeah, I think that, you know, with with if Kyrie's out, I think the Bucks if they take a f- game five, I don't think Harden and, and Kyrie are going to play in game five and the Bucks will go up three to two. If the Bucks can get the the Nets out of the playoffs, uh, they were already like seven to one. The Suns, I think they're going to go to like three to one uh, pretty Suns soon here. Good. Yeah, they are hot uh, NHL playoffs. The Islanders shocked the world taking game one off the lightning in a low scoring game one they beat them two to one and the knights are trying to beat the canadians uh starting monday night to save the world from a montreal long island final hopefully hopefully either the knights or the um lightning advance because montreal versus long island is not going to do big numbers for the nhl uh french open novak djokovic won the french open becoming the first man to win all four majors twice what a fucking beast that is like every surface that's that's impressive. twice that's impressive uh 19 grand slams for him he's one behind federer and nadal who have 20 but he gonna get there <laughs> yeah djokovic yeah. is a beast ufc 263 oh, did you see at the end of the djokovic match uh this one viral he handed a kid uh yeah the, the racket well no yeah. it was a gift it was actually it wasn't a racket no that's a misconception here i have the video uh it was what a, what a gift the kid lost his mind uh, <laughs> there it is. Oh. We give him a fat boy summer. Shirt, oh, he gave, it was oh. a fat boy oh, summer God. team. Look at, look wow. at how happy this kid is. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that kid street. is right. That kid is boy. losing his mind. He gets, <laughs> Jok- Jokovic gives him a fat. Look at that. Look at that joy for that fat boy summer shirt. Unreal. Wow. Unreal. Incredible Thank stuff. Thank you, Joker. <laughs> the, Joker <laughs> the Joker's in on fat boy summer, too. That's incredible. Incredible. Nice line, Mark. <laughs> uh, UFC 263, Saturday night. Nate Diaz was the only thing that trended out of it after landing a late flurry against Leon Edwards uh, that showed that Diaz may have lost uh, those five rounds, but he's still Nate fucking Diaz, and he's just a tough motherfucker. Um, awesome for Nate. Probably bad for the UFC overall, though, that that was the only thing that trended out of that whole card. Yeah, it was like a boring – like, yeah, the favorites all won. The Nate Diaz thing was so awesome because he – he did you see the punch that he landed? Yeah. He I just had saw him, he was talking shit while he was – He had him going. severely hurt, and then instead of trying to finish him, he just, like, flicked him off. was like, fuck you, and pointed at him. He's like, got you, bitch. It, it, but he could have just, like, probably won the fight. He just – he doesn't care. Like, he didn't do the killer instinct where you run up and, like, tackle him or finish him off. He just, like, tagged him, almost knocked him out and said, got you, bitch. And but he was lost. getting – yeah, uh, beat pretty handily until well, like, that's why he should have probably tried to win the fight at the end. But right. he just yeah, such he, a, he's su- he, he doesn't care. He just like liked the fact that he punched him. In the well, and apparently it, people really respect the fact that he took Leon Edwards, who was on a 10 fight win yeah. streak. It's like nobody else would have wanted to take right. on a guy who's that hot. Um, but that's Nate fucking Diaz. Yeah, even Dana White was like, uh, yeah, no, Nate Diaz is the fucking man. We're going to have to get him another fight soon. Yeah. Absolutely. The man uh, and finishing up today's buzz with celebrity boxing. Uh, that actually trended the hardest of all sports. Well, maybe besides the soccer. Uh, Lamar Odom crushed Aaron Carter with a comical TKO in a hilarious boxing match of two guys who have seen much, much better days. Um, I mean, it's sad in, in the end, but it's you got to watch that. You got to watch the TKO. It's it's pretty funny. Um, and then TikTok, TikTok versus YouTube. They had like a celebrity TikToker versus YouTube fight Saturday night. Austin McBroom beat the shit out of Bryce Hall in the headlining event. Uh, cementing that YouTubers won across the board, uh, cementing that YouTubers are apparently much, much, much tougher and better at boxing than TikTok wiggle dickers. And that's the buzz. So you guys see any of those highlights on those fights? Yeah, the Aaron Carter thing. Why well, I don't know why they're yeah. fighting. That's like a foot foot height difference in an ex professional athlete versus a not athlete. I don't, right. I don't know why they're fighting. Yeah, Carter like rung them. his bell with the flurry is one of the funniest videos you see before he just gets absolutely destroyed. The more of them should be embarrassed. Well, he should I, be I, dead, technically. Well, y- yeah, yes. He was gone too, right? He was like that Erickson guy. Like he, oh, was, he was gone. gone. Yeah. Lamar yeah. was gone. Yeah. Thank God, um, Dennis from the Bunny Ranch was there. Yeah, that's good. Good for Lamar. Um, but yeah, he's still cashing checks with the celebrity boxing, so maybe things aren't <laughs> totally back on the on the level for him. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> he's maybe not yet. Time, maybe not yet. But you know what, <laughs> Lamar Odom might be able to talk to is uh, the, the sponsor who brought you the buzz today, Talkspace. Using Talkspace 
feels a little like having a therapist in your pocket. That's why being able to reach out to my therapist or, or psychiatrist at any time from anywhere makes taking care of my mental health very easy with Talkspace. I'm more relaxed when I'm traveling, knowing that if I need to talk to my therapist, I can just send a message from my phone wherever I am. Uh, working through things in therapy can be tough, but contacting my therapist isn't tough at all with Talkspace, and that's very important. Talkspace lets you send and receive unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist in the Talkspace platform 24 seven. That's access that you can't get with a traditional therapist with Talkspace. You, you set goals with your therapist and they hold you accountable and make sure you're really progressing. Therapy can help help you shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times and be a guiding light. Uh, if you're having trouble with anything in your life, it's, it's, it's beneficial for absolutely anybody, um, you know, who could just use a little uh, help figuring things out, which is 100% of us. Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists with years of experience in over 40 specialties. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank-grade encryption technology. And as a listener of Hard Factor, you'll get 100 bucks off your first month with Talkspace to match with a licensed therapist today. Go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code HARDFACTOR, all one word, to get 100 bucks off your first month and show your support for the show. That's hard factor promo code, hard factor, all one word and talkspace.com. Hmm. Tell you if I had a nickel for every time I called my therapist at 3 a.m. and they didn't answer. Jesus. Yeah. You'd have a couple Half a therapy bill. Probably. I'd, have, I'd have a couple bucks at least. You'd, have a You'd few be able to bucks. pay for talk space. <laughs> yeah. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, uh, those were some nights. Um, all right. Uh, men out there. Let this, uh, let this story be a lesson to you. You never know what the fuck is going on in your wife's mind. Sure, she may be all smiles, make you dinner, maybe give you some treats. But underneath all that, she may also be planning to have you killed because she hates you and she wants you dead. Mm. Okay, just keep that in mind. That's what one man in Pennsylvania is finding out about his wife, 44-year-old Claudia Carrion. But this woman uh, was so desperate to have her husband killed, she didn't even have time to save up for the whole hit. Instead, she put the murder on layaway by putting down $100 uh, deposit on his head and agreeing to make 39 more payments of $100 a week after the deed was done. Uh, you guys do the math. That's four grand for a dead husband. What a deal. That's a pretty good deal. That's great. one of the better deals I've heard, especially like 2021. 2021. Deal. Yeah, it's a killer deal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's too good. That's Prices that's to die cheap. for. That's too cheap. It's like it's this is like when we, we talked about uh, like plastic surgery that's too cheap yes right. you know you don't yep. it's a big red flag it's if, a botched uh, boob job of a hit isn't mm -hmm. it right it is a big red flag well uh claudia's plan unraveled because she's stupid and was talking to an undercover cop the whole time she thought <laughs> she was talking to a hitman and once the 100 dollars deposit was laid down she was arrested uh now of course uh claudia remains uh, claims that she wanted her husband dead because he was abusive and he was cheating on her uh this big dummy also told police this was the second time she tried to hire a hitman, uh, but the first time failed. So she admitted to that when she was arrested. Wow. Uh, that's yeah. A <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and being you know, done wrong. <laughs> I should have given up after the first time failed. Excuse me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> was I talking to you the first time, too? Yeah. Um, idiot. Yeah. The woman's son is also an idiot and is uh, completely blowing uh, this, her story. Joshua Carrion, uh, who I think Bob has a picture of, says his mother is being framed, saying, quote, it's not like that. I feel like she's getting framed. She's she's Christian, you know, like very religious. My family, my family, we we never do harm. We're all, you know, innocent. We don't have no criminal record or, or nothing. Um, he also said he never saw any of the abuse his mom see? was talking about. We yeah. don't have no record or nothing. See, she's a right. Christian. Yeah, right. right. You yeah. get me, Sonny? Yeah, he couldn't have sounded more. Um... She's got clean hands. Right. Washed in holy water, I swear it. <laughs> Charitable woman, bakes pies every Sunday, sends them out to the to the town. Was he yeah. telling the truth, Wes? No. Well, he also said that she he's never seen any of this abuse that she's claiming. Mm -hmm. um, I think like her her his fa father is like from the Dominican Republic. She like brought him over, and um, he's saying that this is her story is just. He's, he's trying to be like they're framing her because well, it's her story is full of shit or whatever. But he's really just putting I holes mean, in her, her, out her story. He, <laughs> didn't see, he, yeah. he didn't see the abuse, but he also doesn't think his mom put the head on him. So he's just kind of oblivious. It's a shocking thing to realize when you think that, that your mom may be trying to kill your dad with a hitman. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's a little shocking. Like, this is like that kid, the, the you know, the, the Jersey deli kid that's like, my dad's not running a scam, see? Right. With the yeah, deli exactly. shop. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll hit you over the head with the chair. He's a legendary <laughs> wrestling coach. See, <laughs> we're above board. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so tough he's, to swallow. It is. It's very tough to swallow. What do you um, do to get? I mean, well, we'll get into it. Well, I don't know. I I don't know how you go about finding a, a hitman. I guess it's like an online thing. But under Pennsylvania law, um, and I, I guess many states are like this too. So she's being held on five hundred thousand dollars bond. But in Pennsylvania, the so, if you solicit homicide and you get convicted of it, you get charged as if you committed murder. Like right. the, the solicitation is the exact as the crime you're soliciting for. Yeah. I just want to put this out here. Uh, Ross Ulbricht, um, the guy that started the Silk Road, mm -hmm, is right. in jail for uh, hiring a hit person. So, like, if Ross Ulbricht can't do it, like, sorry, Sally, you, yeah. you're not going to do it for 39 payments of 100 uh, bucks a week with someone you found at your fucking pool hall. It's not going to happen. And the genius that is the Tiger King is in jail for soliciting a hit as well. Yeah, and those are two dirty guys. Those are guys that... in. Are dirtier and smarter than you, respectively. Guy knew how to handle hundreds of tigers. Couldn't execute the hit. What would what would be something that would drive you to to ask for a hit on somebody? Because it has to be extreme. Knowing well, insurance the money. Are you asking Look, us or 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 like a person? Well, like this this woman, she's claiming abuse, right? But like what? Like I mean, it's got to be really money, always mo okay. financially just, motivated, one hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Just some words of advice: Don't hire a hitman. Just commit the murder yourself. Just right. Simply, yeah. I mean, your odds yeah. of getting away have to be higher. Much cut higher, the middleman yeah. out. But yeah, I the see. middleman's either going to take your money and run, yeah. or they're a cop. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens to her. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love when they do the fake hit too. Like, there's that one. Oh, hate it's line amazing. That's super famous, where like they they like you know they'll take the pictures of the dead husband. And then, the, and then the wife will be like, oh, my God. But she's like really not sad. And then he'll come out and be like, you fucking bitch. I'm, I'm yeah. alive, you bitch. I love that, too. That's the best. Yeah. Also, they need to do this on to, to catch a predator, like have like get Chris Hansen back at it. Oh, they do it all the time, man. They do, to, yeah. There's like 10 or 10 or 15 datelines out there like this. Yeah. It also, a uh, red flag is if the hitman accepts a hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. That's I'm not hard a good up. sign. That's not a good sign. <sighs> Look, She's I'm an idiot. Yeah. The line yeah. For the other thirty nine hundred, how much yeah. is a, how much is a is, is a hitman money? I'd say ten k. Fifty then you're, grand. Ten. Oh, you yeah, would over, no over, less over than five 50, figures. Yeah, yeah, fifty thousand dollars. No less than fifty. Yes. for a good one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, a good. And one? you need to pay at least twenty five up front for a pro. Hundred. I'm not talking about a homeless guy yeah. that's gonna fucking like you know shoot someone right. in an alley. <laughs> someone that's gonna get away with it. Yeah. 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 My guess is like teenagers <laughs> that's probably do yeah, it that's 10K. 10K. Teenagers will do it for 10 if you find like a teen. But like an adult, someone whose profession is hit manning. 50. 50, yeah. You just go find someone that's strung out and give them a, you know, tell them you're going to give them a bag and here's They'll your target. Go off onto the bridge somewhere. Yeah, right? Just do the murder yourself. Just do it yourself. That's definitely, if you were doing it, not if you were trying to solicit one in Austin, you definitely go to the Sixth Street underpass. At, for at sure. Oh, it'll be a line that's, of people. Yeah, that's where you go to find your man. Yeah. They'd be tripping over each other to get to you. Three hundred dollars. I don't want to presume. About yeah, the killer's sex. Right. You just find the craziest guy you know, and then you convince him that the person you want dead messed with his child. Mm. But don't you have to? If you, don't you have to kill the hitman then potentially afterwards? Well, Pat's, like, Pat's creating a scenario yeah. where he's committed zero crimes. I call it the puppet okay. master. Right. Oh, what 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 was your last? It's a manipulation, time? manipulating somebody. Into oh, trick them into thinking that was their idea. No, yeah. you find like the craziest person you know who's also armed. Right. And then you convince them that the person that you want dead wronged their child or their wife or something. Right. So you trick them. Yeah. 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 Frame. Oh, the old you. frame job. Eh? You could also just take the see? person you want. You could just take the person <laughs> you want dead. See, and just drop them under like your version of the Sixth Street underpass because they're not getting out. Just leave them there, right? Just leave the person you want killed in like a horribly bad location. Yeah, no pub. guarantee that's going to happen. Movie then, about that. If they survive yeah. that, Mark, then the revenge coming back. But what, is, what are they going to say? What What are they going to say? Well, yes, yeah, what are they going to say? Well, they're going to say uh, he left me on the Sixth Street underpass, and I'll and and then I'll say, yeah, but what? Just because like I was getting annoyed by him, I just let him out of the car. I'll tell you what they'll say is, baby girl, you go to school today. Yeah, crazy oh, world. Yeah, I heard I, different. I, I, exactly. Yeah, if you if you're lucky enough to have saved the uh, uncle of the gang leader, I swear, a Smiley, or the, the niece, his niece, yeah, <laughs> he might be right. But anyways, 
That was yeah, the time that's it. Back. International moment. Well, let's get to an ad real quick first. How many of you guys have subscription services that you're paying for each month? All you guys do. Uh, yes. You know, you don't fucking know. There's so much. There's so many of them. I, I know that I have some, uh, but I took care of it with Truebill. They add up, guys. You can do it too. Truebill's our sponsor. Check in with them. They're fantastic. You probably signed up for a bunch during the pandemic. You're probably like, I'm going to collect them all. I'm going to get all the streaming services. And then you realize that Teen Mom, in my case, is on four different channels that you subscribe to. It doesn't make sense. You can get Teen Mom on Hulu and Amazon Prime. Okay. 80% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. Are you one of them? You are. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of debt. Start with Truebill, smartest way to manage your finances. You have some sort of spreadsheet, throw that shit out. It's stupid. Uh, Truebill can cancel subscriptions directly through the app. Dang. And you can review all your current charges in one place. Double dang. They have a variety of tools to help customers improve their finances or create a monthly budget and expenses, track and evaluate. I know Bubba used it independent of it being a sponsor. And I used uh, it. It was great. Yeah. Wes used it. I used it. It's insane, guys. Hmm. So um, get on Truebill. Most people. Team. I have Teen Mom on at least four subscriptions right now. Dude, Teen Mom, by the way, it's the show that never ends. It's really, it's it, it's such it's a friend. You really it's cut a, me deep. There. It's a warm friend. Yeah. Um, because you can put you it can on. Watch it on four different platforms. I have it on Hulu. I've got it on YouTube TV. I've got it on like uh Walmart. like four four things I pay for. It really sounds like you need to sign up for Truebill. Uh, you're we'll invested, sign up today. You? You're sign up today. You know what I mean, Mark? You're I need to get Truebill today. Um. Man, I wonder what's going to happen. Well, never mind. We'll, let's, we'll start a new Teen Mom podcast. Guys, most people um, think they spend about 80 bucks a month on subscriptions, but they actually spent closer to 200 Wow. They've saved their users 50 million bucks. So, uh, yeah, the average person saves $720 per year with Truebill. So get started today at Truebill.com slash factor. That's important. Truebill.com slash factor. Uh, take control of your finances. Start saving at Truebill.com slash factor. Truebill.com slash factor. Hmm. Okay. Ready. I think I have the MTV app. I think I have the Paramount Plus app. I think I need. To, okay. Go ahead, Pat. Okay. Let's get into the TikTok international moment. Here's the deal. People on TikTok love international stories. So we're going to give you three rapid fire TikTok stories. Bam. Our homeboy Eric is going to cut them down, throw them on TikTok, and they're going to crush, mm. bring international listeners in. Bam. That's how we get the money. That's how we get the island. So if you haven't, follow us uh, at Hard Factor News on TikTok. Kicking it off. First up, guys, the French government may have found a major fundraising opportunity uh, that could be on their plate very soon that could dig them out of the le hole of debt as a petition for billionaire big bald Bezos to buy and eat the French owned Leonardo da Vinci classic. The Mona Lisa is gaining some traction. That's right, guys. Oh, OK, so Bezos is going to bail out France, but not pay taxes to America. Potentially, the petition from change.org has uh, reached its goal of almost 2,500 2, signatures, uh, which when it gets there, I'm guessing at which point with that kind of momentum, Bezos will really have no choice. The, the, petition, uh, the, the petition page reads, quote, nobody has eaten the Mona Lisa and we feel Jeff Bezos needs to take a stand and make that happen. Bezos's ex-wife, uh, who was married to him for almost 17 years, Mackenzie Scott, gave a statement about the story saying, quote, that's not going to work. Jeff has no idea how to eat a woman. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> um, oh. It's a deep burn. Guys, selling the Mona Lisa him. isn't a new idea. Uh, French tech CEO Stéphane Desquin uh, said last year uh, that the government should do it and suggested it could sell for up to $50 billion, which is a lot of cash it? for a painting, if you ask me. Some people I'll say it's closer to four hundred. dollars don't they loan that thing out anyway? Like you can just like get it in your museum if you want. No, it's it stays at the uh, French Museum. Fifty um, billion dollars. What is that? Uh, what is it? NFT? That's NFT price. Get out of here. How yeah, about Bezos pays more than zero percent in personal income taxes and one point two percent corporate taxes? That How about be, that? I agree. Well, that would that be nice. better than him buying the Mona Lisa. I, I got into it with the people in the uh, in the Instagram that were like defending the billionaires not paying taxes, and some people were like, "Well, their companies do." And I was like, "No, they don't." They, that's the whole Amazon point. paid 1.2 percent effective tax rate. Yeah, I know. That's like. what the guy was like. Could you pay? They paid one point something billion billion with a B, and then quick Google search. Uh, that was like that was like nine percent of the twenty five percent that everyone else right. is supposed to pay. Like, Anyone it, it, yeah. that gets angry 
clear about that. It yeah. has been lied to and thinks that they're temporarily poor. Well, they work for poor. these companies or their tax accountants. Yeah, you are not temporarily poor. You're just poor comparatively. Yeah. So uh, have the rich pay taxes. Guys, this <laughs> the story is gaining. Really no skin off your back. Right, it's no yeah. skin so off your back. It'll only help not. you. you it's amazing that. to me how many people are defending the billionaires. <laughs> well, because they think it's like a, they get sold it as like a partisan issue. It's like, no, dude, like the rich have to fucking pay taxes. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it looks well, like the same as that BlackRock thing. Like BlackRock buying all the fucking homes is another like that should be bipartisan. It shouldn't like Jeff Bezos paying his taxes and not wanting BlackRock to buy all the fucking houses shouldn't be a shouldn't be partisan issues. They think so, they're going to be billionaires. Fuck everybody. They, they think I think, they, I think that's what it off is. Off chance think, that they become a billionaire, they want to make sure what it the taxes is. are really. I think, I think it's they think they're Jeff Bezos level. Type in their minds yeah. yeah no idea anyway guys the story uh which is gaining steam created an unfortunate game of telephone for amazon employees who got word that they'd be allowed to use the loo when in actuality the story is just about a french museum with a similar sounding name um okay next up that's the louvre wes the louvre yes okay got it mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. You could see his will spinning. Yeah. I <laughs> well, no, because he said, "Don't they loan it out?" I didn't want to say the Louvre earlier because I was about to say, yeah, yeah. Tongue, tongue. "Hang it in the Lou." Lou, hang it in the Lou. Uh, guys, <laughs> an Austrian soldier has been jailed for 19 months after tattooing a swastika on his testicle. Yeah, this is part of a growing pattern of German and Austrian soldiers displaying symbols of anti-Semitism in places you should not see. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Come uh, on. Not, is that really the trip? Why does he? Why did he tattoo his testicle? Well, well. Uh, apparently, he got drunk on two bottles of whiskey before his quote <laughs> brother tattooed the band symbol on his scrotum. Mm. Needless to say, he was sacked from his position in the army. <laughs> Lots of puns. <laughs> Wow. Going a pun, pun frenzy. Yeah. Yeah. He's going out of control. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hopefully this will drive neo-Nazis to tattoo the swastika in even more discreet places on their bodies. Like maybe, I don't know, inside their fucking assholes. Um, oh. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, scrotum's not safe anymore. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Gooch is a ger German word. You're going to have to really pucker this guy out. <laughs> Sounds German. <laughs> in all seriousness, uh, there's a growing yeah. Nazi movement in the um, in the military in Germany and Austria, and it's, it's a problem, so keep an eye out for that. Guys, and finally, uh, Brazil's president, Ayer Bolsonaro, led thousands of motorcyclist supporters through the streets of Sao Paulo on Saturday uh, for a pro-Bolsonaro rally. Problem is, he wasn't wearing a mask, which has been mandated by the health department. So he was fined to wear a mask uh, because he violated local pandemic restrictions. Uh, and the strongman leader who showed off how he felt about preventative straight safety measures by willfully defying the mask order simultaneously was wearing a motorcycle helmet. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, if you ask me. And also, he was the only guy with another dude on the back. But the helmet the looks cool. Yeah, the helmet's like, <laughs> nah, I'll go with the mask, man. But the helmet, dude, safety first, guys. This makes it's sense. Freaking is on it. <laughs> if you look at the picture of who Bolsonaro is riding with, it makes a lot of sense. He couldn't who wear a mask this? in that crowd. I couldn't no. figure out who this guy you, on the back of his motorcycle was. Well, yeah, the guy buddy. poking his head out. Um, yeah. It might like, just be... A trick of the view. No, it's him. I, I okay. promise you. There's a, there's okay. a, there's a gentleman holding his breasts. You wear a mask to that uh, biker rally, and I don't I don't think you're you're getting punched. You're getting me. thrown out. Yeah. yeah. Well, can you imagine? The helmets are okay. Bolsonaro's crew and like oh, what is right, it? The, the the night wolves and Bolsonaro's crew meeting up. Trouble. Oh. Putin's there's biker gang. Trouble. Bolsonaro was also wearing eye protection. It's hard to see in that in that. Well, it's wearing... out. well that's a good point. Maybe uh, Biden needs to start a biker gang if he's going to try to like uh, yes. try to like wouldn't beef it be a, up the intimidation a, factor a little bit? Would be like a rat, it would be like sure. a rascal gang at this point, though. Probably wouldn't. It? Yeah, oh, like a provider? scooter, like a scooter gang, electric he'd, scooter gang. Uh, <laughs> he'd get lost so quick. <laughs> he'd be like at the Canadian border in no time. <laughs> you call them the rascals. Yeah, we got sad, turned around over here. The sad part is Biden doesn't know what's Shirtless. going on in his brain because it's like if you're Biden and you know you're slipping, then someone else is lead, leading a meeting. You just shut your mouth and let him lead the meeting. But uh, he thinks, oh he no, he's he's jumping there. Yeah, Biden he's getting, he's Biden still getting got lost on it. on it. 
Biden getting lost in a gazebo is one of my favorite things that's happened in a while. His sneakers. So he's wandering around in his yeah, yeah. monarch. Yeah. I mean, the guy is like, I, I'll just say I'm happy I put my money on on not finishing the first term. I mean, this is, like he said, it's only been 120 days. Uh, so let's kick it fine. over. We're going to be fine. To the, uh, I think the story of the episode that Mark has, which we're all excited about, but that's been the right. TikTok international moment. Guys, we've been doing this for just over three years now. And I was starting to think we'd never find the perfect headline. And don't get me wrong. We've had some incredible headlines and incredible stories on the show, but nothing was perfect until this weekend when I received a text message from intern Cam with a story that had the following. Oh, wait, Bubba saying it was him from intern Bubba. <laughs> and uh, it had the following headline. NBC halts production on ultimate slip and slide show amid reports of explosive diarrhea outbreak on set. Yeah. That one, that one got me too. It's pretty got good. me thinking. Didn't know I'm they were doing a slip and slide show. Didn't know they had a diarrhea outbreak, but now I do. Worst That's possible scenario. <laughs> Worst possible scenario to have a slip and slide show. <laughs> Everyone's on slip and slides. Yeah. Everyone's got explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Mouth out like, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> perfect story. <laughs> when it's coming down the slide and there's nowhere to hide, diarrhea, diarrhea. When you're sliding face first and somebody has the squirts, diarrhea, oh, diarrhea. No. So NBC has been filming a slip and slide competition show. It's like wipeout style with Bobby Moynihan and Ron Funches that they're, that they're host. They're the host, and that's supposed to the guy from SNL. Slip and, Ron and Funches, slide. Yeah, Ron Funches has been in a bunch of shows. The comedian. Um, it's supposed to premiere after closing ceremonies of the Olympics on August eighth. So it's like <laughs> their big summer show uh to compete with like wipeouts and there's some new other show uh similar to wipeout i guess we're at the point <laughs> or at the point of our lives where we need five shows of people like getting punched by big things and falling so we're we're like yeah. japan now japan yeah. it used yes. to be japan yes. now it's the u.s yep so this was their big show but this weekend reports came out that filming was halted after at least one crew member contracted uh giardia giardia i'm not sure how, how you pronounce it g-i-a-r-d-i-a the, the, the runs it's a highly contagious intestinal infection caused by a parasite. Uh, that, so not good that you get from ingesting infected food and water in particular and causes violent bloody diarrhea. And while it's been officially reported, oh. yeah, while it's officially been reported that more than one crew member had it, um, it makes a little more sense that people with inside information are starting to tell news sources that it's more like 40 plus crew members that suffered from quote awful explosive diarrhea that le left people quote collapsing on set uh, and being forced to sprint to porta potties to get their diarrhea out during the middle of filming. Uh, Sounds miserable. That's yeah. a wrap for the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna do it. Right? Forty people. Uh, the porta potties are full again. John, what do we do? Oh my yeah. god, this yeah, is gonna be the up. worst production assistant gig of all time. Is that you? But you know that this falls on the fucking production assistants to clean up the mess oh. that's been made. Oh, oh man, are so fucked. Oh my god, that <laughs> number of at least forty people shitting their brains out all around the craft food table and the table and the slip and slides. Huh. What, what There's also, another one. Oh, would also. <laughs> explain <laughs> why filming was shut down indefinitely on june 2nd and definitely is probably being tossed around because there is no way in hell anyone is going to be able to step foot back on that shit show of a set well, after you the can't trauma get the set. experience yeah. there's yeah. just no way like that that's like they're not going to get those 40 people to go back like going going to need to get a whole new crew right so yeah. to wrap to wrap up filming and they're going to have to lie to them about how severe it was it's like trying to sell a house uh that an entire family was just like murdered like horrifically into someone like yeah, yeah there's the, the father you know the scribblings the satanic scribblings on the wall were probably what just happened to the last night. show that filmed here yeah it's not going to be good <laughs> it had to do with the fact that it was a slip and slide show right like it well, had to the, do with the, the fact that they're standing water the water yes the, like the the grd or whatever is it it travels through water and it's very contagious if you get it in your hands or your mouth so and this you, one you know. guy's butt just infected the whole set this is why yes. people are not supposed to go in hot tubs or pools like within a, a two days of having like severe diarrhea because grd gets in the body of water also uh, I, I've been on a couple shoots where um, there's like a fun thing. Wes can attest to this too. And like the crew, here's what'll happen. The crew's just filming or, or capturing audio. And then like right before farting. lunch, right before lunch, they'll take it. They'll take a trip on the slip inside. And, and then and then at the end yeah. of the day, they'll take a trip on the slip inside. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, the crew definitely fucked it up. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be like an ad out there. It's gonna be like show for major network looking for cameraman operator that washes hands frequently for uh, for new show. And then uh, you're gonna have to be like, no, nah, that's the slip and slide show. I'll stick with indies this year uh, because you don't want anything to do with that fucking show. Uh, the show was being filmed on a remote ranch in Simi Valley, California, and uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it because like, cows and pigs can also get this this thing uh and they turned it into a water park that got infected with diarrhea parasites so it was like the the perfect storm <laughs> for this diarrhea parasite it was a ranch that they turned into a water park uh, that no one fucking knew how to maintain like none, no one was an expert on like maintaining water parks on this thing well, uh yeah so, Go ahead. So, somebody knows that they were the host somebody uh, yeah. knows the, the guy who had the first bloody diarrhea, probably. Yeah, the yeah. First, yeah somebody out there is shaking in their boots <laughs> yeah. that they're gonna he's gonna be found out. You're not gonna be himself. able to trace it back. <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't go on this slip and slide. But then he's like, but it looks so fun. Yeah. You know, people are gonna be trying to piece it together, like who yeah. was screaming from the porta potty first? Right. <laughs> <laughs> who was Ken, like, you gotta try this yeah. i really shouldn't uh, who, who, God, who, ch fun. who changed their shorts first uh, let's, let's look, back. look at people clenching their teeth as they go down people's pants turning brown one day oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah widespread <laughs> there there i have people with shit pants they're thinking of changing the show name from ultimate slip and slide to the worst way to lose 10 pounds uh and they're mm -hmm. also thinking of changing all their slides to be brown well so that you don't see the, the brown water yeah Smart. and brown shorts they got it's got to be an all brown show just in it's case a, this happens again. it's like they're gonna dye the water brown like uh like it's saint patty's day uh in chicago's <laughs> river <laughs> dye it brown instead of green oh god yeah it's <laughs> a mess that is awesome so everyone got sick so i mean yeah, uh, they should just rebrand it you're right they should just like make it like Poo flow or something. Well, how, like, how are you going to watch that show and not think diarrhea? Right, right. You know, they're going to have to lean into it or get rid of it all yeah. together. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. I think it's, it's going to kill it. Um. All right, guys. One more. Remember last week I warned everyone that uh, after I did that story about the whale that tried to murder those two fishermen in Australia, tried okay. to crush them to death by jumping on their boat. Well, apparently the whales. After on they harassed the whale. Well, we'll, we'll get whatever. Apparently the <laughs> whales on Earth are communicating and it's just an all out war on humans at this point. And we got to get Iceland. We got to get Norway and Japan to form some kind of elite whale killing team and go hunt these motherfuckers to extinction. Uh, as one lady of the hive, Allison, said, these whales are the pit bulls of the sea and they have to be stopped. Um, they are just literally trying to just eat us whole now as one uh, lobster diver yeah. from. How, how is it like the pit bull of the same? I mean, the pit a pit bull is a small thing because they're vicious. They're going to kill us all. Wouldn't a shark be make more sense? Okay. Well, I was just trying to give a shout out to a, a hard Ohio member, but the, we don't. If you want to kill that, that's fine. I like uh, Allison's quote, but I yeah. take umbrage with a whale being okay. likened to a pit bull. Uh, you know why they're the pit? You know why they're the pit bull of the sea is huh. because uh, people don't. So a lot of people are defending them, like you. That's and then, true. And then they snap right. on you anyways. That's they don't right. care. They don't care. That How do they snap them. on you? you okay, that's why. Usually listen, listen, look at what's out. happening. Open your eyes, Will. Um, as one lobster diver from Provincetown, Massachusetts, is lucky to be alive after narrowly escaping the hungry mouth of a whale that tried to swallow him whole. Uh, remember I told you guys about Provincetown, famous for whales and, and men on leashes. Well, uh, Michael Packard, 56, was diving in the waters off the coast of Provincetown looking for lobsters like this one he's holding right now. Um, he claims he was about 45 feet deep when he says a murderous humpback whale came out of nowhere and tried to eat him. Um, wow, there's lots of people around saw it, right? Well, you know, um, it's it's hard. It, he was all by himself. You know, that's what the life of a lobster fisherman will. Yeah, um, and um, I'm going to let you decide here. I've got a this is Michael talking to reporters outside the hospital where he's wearing scrubs uh, because his one very wise member of the hive pointed out he was probably wearing a wetsuit when he went to the hospital after this wheel tried to eat him. So he again, was in look, scuba gear. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so here he is telling his tale. Uh, I'm a. I'm a lobster diver out of Provincetown, Massachusetts. And uh, I was diving today. And I jumped over and I got down to about 45 feet of water. And all of a sudden I just felt this huge bump and everything went dark. And I could sense that I was moving. And I was like, oh my God, did I just get bit by a shark? 
And then I felt around and I realized there was no worse. Mm -hmm. And I had felt really no great pain. And then I realized, oh my God, I'm in a whale's mouth. Oh, I'm Pinocchio. Wow. This guy's also mouth. sitting. And he's trying This to camera swallow. crew didn't want to pause for the no, massive didn't. truck backing up. They didn't. And, thought, and they're also in a so parking so lot. He's like okay, smoking a cig. He's outside this the hospital. Is, he's traumatized. Well, I'm going to die. Oh my God, the whale is going to kill him. I thought about my kids and my wife, and I really, there was no getting out of there. It's an incredible, and then all of a sudden, only uh, verbal tale. Listen, he listen. He went up to the surface and just erupted and started shaking his head, and I just got thrown in the air and landed in the water, and I was free, and I just floated there, and, and I was just, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so there you go. Um, it's a miracle, right? I mean, what a tale. I mean, that right? guy's done heroin before. Right to that day, it seems like. Yeah, you was he tell. tripping during yeah. the interview? Was is It's like no, Ryan from yeah. Teen Mom, Mark. You know what I mean? Uh, I Macy's know. ex-husband. Oh, what a mess that guy is. Yeah. I mean, he might. He might Remember yeah. that episode where he was driving? They do the warning. They're like, what warning. That? About Already got that. out of rehab and he cracked a beer at the dinner, his celebration. Dinner. Unreal. 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 But so, you're, Will, you're saying that you don't think this guy got <laughs> swallowed by a whale? Yeah, what's the I'm, problem? Will? I'm saying that that's a fantastical tale. Look, nobody saw it happen. He says he was swallowed up 45 feet below the surface, and then magically this whale nearly killed him, but then spit him out onto the surface of the ocean. Yes. And that was that was a whale trying to kill him. I don't. Yes. I, first of all, if that did even happen at all, clearly an accident by the whale who spit him out as, oh as soon God. as he realized what he had in his mouth. Uh, whales I, I think it was I think it was more of a warning from the whale. He's like, go it tell was. us, go tell them what I can do to you. That's exactly what I was the joke. I was going to make Mark. It was oh, sorry. No, it was, no, no, it, no, the great minds think alike, but because you're, yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right. That's exactly what was happening. It was a, it was a, it was a warning to the rest of humanity to, uh, you know, tell the tale and not stop yes. fucking with us. Tell so them how big the mouth was. Why exactly. wouldn't they take a Japanese man then? Listen, uh, Pat, because this man was tripping and doesn't realize if it happened or not. No, Will, he was swallowed by a whale. It's a miracle. Why don't you just be excited for him? That he's alive. Um, now, whale sympathizers like Will are blasting this guy, saying, no way this happened. How could this gentle giant attack this man? Like Juki Robbins, who is a real bore at dinner parties and also the director of Humpback Whale Studies at the Center of Coastal Studies in Provincetown. Oh, well, this guy's a little, she's a little biased. She told the she told the news, quote, based on what was described, this would have been a mistake and an accident on the part of the humpback. Yeah, okay, Juke, funny how your name defined literally means to make a sham move to mislead an opponent uh funny funny isn't it a doctor um who was at the cape cod hospital where he was juke i did look up juke <laughs> yeah i did find it that's the exact definition the professor uh, <laughs> <laughs> a doctor who was at the cape cod hospital where he was treated and who was clearly paid by greenpeace is also casting doubt on the whales true bloodthirsty nature telling the news quote he reportedly ascended from a 45 foot depth in 20 to 40 seconds and didn't have any evidence of barrow trauma the doctor who did not treat michael so should really just keep his mouth fucking shut said a, a mean, person it's true though the story is hard to believe well you know a person traumatized by such an encounter should expect more serious injuries such as hearing loss because of the sudden change in water pressure so this doctor another doctor that doesn't doesn't believe in miracles just completely by the book oh no another guy that doesn't believe the one guy ever who's been swallowed by a whale under underwater and they should take his medical the, license the top of the sea I think the only thing that like there only needs to be one check on this guy. Check his Apple podcast and see if he's a Hard Ohio member because that's the only way he's faking it. If he was doing it to get on the show because <laughs> he heard us late last week bashing whales. I think that's I, the all. All you need to do is yeah. check his Apple pod history. And then if there aren't 100 plus episodes downloaded, a hard factor, he's told. I do agree with Mark that he's probably an anti whale propagandist. I think if we pay him a hundred bucks, we can get him on on the podcast. To, to yeah. Explain what, is, what does a hit of heroin cost? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. I think his son was the only one who Just get him who, a spoon who was in the who was in the sea near him who can even lightly co corroborate the story, or maybe his son just knew where he was, because um, like nobody else besides him saw what happened. And in there, I saw a little wooden boy with a long nose. Yeah, <laughs> so, so. he told me he, he left me a message for Geppetto. Well, anyway, it's a real problem. It needs to be addressed before it's too late. Um, how do you guys think we should kill all the whales? Yeah, no, um, 
No, I mean the whales. The whales are fine. Literally, there's like no whale attacks. Isn't this like the 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 like? Well, orcas. Well, you know how many people I mean, go no missing. Whales. There's you no know how many people go attacks. missing every year. They're orcas probably are, all in whales' yeah, bellies. Exactly. No. Orcas are called killer whales. They're not called friendly whales. Like they're. Yeah. You ever they, seen what an orca does to a seal? Tillicum killed 300 human beings. He wore yeah. one of their skin. Look, he was, look at the woman was, behind me. He rolled out with a de-skinned human being that jumped the yeah. fence. Yeah, her name's just, Dawn. Her name's yeah. Dawn. We'll her look at her. Dawn. Say her name. Yeah. Who? Say her name. Dawn. Sea World Lady. What she Dawn did? Brand Show. She became a, a, a horror show uh, for people that uh, saw her get murdered by Tillicum. Dawn's gone, Will. Well, well, limb from limb. She, was, she was keeping a whale captive in a cage. I mean, that's her fault. A lot of people were. A lot of people were doing that, you know, and Tillicum killed a lot of people. Sure did. You went to see. Well, was it was it Tillicum's fault that they locked him up in a giant in a giant cell? Her That's blood's true. on your hands, bro. Yeah, it's probably better that we knew where Tillicum was so he could only kill 50 people instead of right. the thousands he would have in the wild. Yeah. If he was in the wild, he'd kill zero people. He'd come. In oh, every fish, every little wrap the show up. Yeah, right. OK. Whales are a problem. Yeah, Not a problem. problem. We should figure it out. It's called Norway, Japan, Iceland. Uh, that's gonna do it for Hard Factor. Thank you again for listening. Hey, Patreon, we're 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 we've got a great community. We're over two hundred and what sixty five patrons in there. So get in. If you mm. even five bucks gets you on the Discord now, uh, you, we can chat. You know, share some ideas. Say we're starting what's up. a whale, we're starting a whale thread this week on Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna start a whale. Thread. Yeah, absolutely. Get a Teen Mom thread. <laughs> get a Teen Mom, mom thread. thread. Hell sure. yeah. Pat will lead that one. Um, it'll just be, yeah. it'll just be mine and Mark's spouses in there, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just give them, give them the phone. <laughs> Plus, uh, get it, get into the Patreon this month because we have lots of stuff coming up. I don't know how much of it is going to be Patreon only or not, but we've got in the next several weeks we've got the pigs in a blanket eating contest. We've got the pizza party, oh, yeah. which will definitely be Patreon only, and we've got trivia coming up um, in July again. So July 16th will be trivia. The next trivia. Yeah. I'll do and something then before then too. Yeah. And then before then pigs in a blanket and pizza party. So mm -hmm. lots of shit going on in the Patreon that you can get involved with. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, be on the lookout for a, uh, uh, what a treat. Um, bakery uh t-shirt coming out soon and that's gonna do it for hard factor today thank you very much we love you guys we really appreciate you spread the word it really helps but most importantly have a great fucking day